Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. I love bringing music to your home. I love being able to seek out artists from all over the state and um, getting them to come here to play for you on Saturday nights. Um, this, this young duo, um, one of them's been on the show before and uh, you'll recognize him for his talent. I'm pretty sure you may recognize his name. Uh, the reason that they're here tonight is because they just got done competing in the Connecticut Blues Society Blues Challenge, and they actually came in second. Uh, they didn't take first place, but um, I think even they'll admit that where they, where they placed was well worth where they placed. Um, the band that actually won was um, just... It was the Belkin Brothers, so the Belkin Brothers will be going to Memphis representing Connecticut this year. But tonight, we have for you the incredibly talented young duo. I hope you'll welcome them and enjoy what they have for you. Jake Kulak and Jeremy Peck. <laughs> Rambling, I got rambling on my mind. I got rambling, I got rambling on my mind. You leave this town, girl, but you treat me so unkind. I got mean things, I got mean things on my mind. I got mean things. I got mean things on my mind. Here, leave this town, girl, because you treat me so unkind. Every time I'm walking down the street, some pretty mama starts breaking down. I need to start breaking down. Please start breaking down. So that guy is gonna bust your brains out. Gonna make you lose your mind. These Saturday night women, aping clown. All they're trying to do is tear a man's reputation down. Stop breaking down. Please stop breaking down. So I got it's gonna bust your brains out. We're gonna make you lose your mind. Trying to do is throw a pistol down on me. Stop breaking down. Please stop breaking down. So I got is gonna bust your brains out. You're gonna make you lose your mind.
Every time I'm walking down the street, some pretty mama starts breaking down on me, start breaking down. Please stop breaking down. So I'm just gonna bust your brain down. Gotta make you lose your mind. So I'm just gonna bust your brains out. Gonna make you lose your mind. Oh, so I'm just gonna bust your brains out. Gonna make you lose your mind. Don't you hear me calling you? So sweet, so sweet, my baby, so sweet. I love my baby, love her to a bone. Hate to see my sweet sugar go home. So sweet, so sweet, my baby, so sweet.
Thank you guys so much. We're going to do an original tune. This one's called How Much Longer Can I Last? It's hard to leave, no standing in my shoes. There's nothing left to say, nothing left to lose. I'm getting out of here, I'm getting out fast. Gotta worry about my future, stop thinking about the past. Oh, yes, my head is heavy. I don't know how much longer I can last. Getting out of here, I'm getting out fast. Gotta worry about my future. Stop thinking about the past. Oh, yes, my head is happy. I don't know how much longer I can last. My head is happy. I don't know how much longer I can last. Yes, my head is happy. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna do a song called Need Your Love So Bad.
to stand up and tell me when I'm lying and when the lights are low it's time to go cause I need your love so So why don't you give it up and bring it on home to me? Or write it on a piece of paper, woman, so it can be read to me. Tell me that you love me. Stop driving me mad. This when I need your love so bad.
sat down on her front step. She said, Come in now, baby. Cause we just now left. Just now left. Just now left. baby yes I know she gonna scream and shout when my train come rolling in and I'm come walking out come walking out come walking out Your crying won't make me stay. Yes, the more you cry, little mama, the further I go away, the further I go away, the further I go away now. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do one more. Hey, Joe, where you going with that gun of yours? Hey, Joe, where you going with that 
gun in your hand Going down to shoot more lady Gonna mess around with another man Going down to shoot more lady Gonna mess around with another man Hey Joe, would you shot your lady down? Hey Joe, would you shot your lady down? Yes, I did. I shot her. Yeah, I shot my old lady down. Yes, I did, I shot her. Oh, I shot my old lady down. guys are getting themselves situated over here in the chairs. I just want to remind you all that we are now in the quote holiday season. We are also in what I consider to be the cold season. That means that your neighbors may not have heat or your, your elderly neighbors may not have food. Please check on your neighbors, especially if they're elderly or have little children. We need to keep, um, especially now, Especially now we have to keep an eye on our neighbors and take care of the ones around us that we love and care about. Um, also, remember that as you're out maybe buying gifts, to shop small. The, the mom and pop shops in the area um, thrive on us being there for them. Um, the big box stores don't need us. They don't. Take my word for it. They'll survive without us. But the little mom and pop shops around your neighborhood, they need us in order to survive so that they can have their holiday season too. So check on your neighbors and do the small shop stuff, okay? Let's talk to the guys. Hi, guys. Oh, my Hi. goodness. Oh, my goodness. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. It, it feels, feels good. good. It feels very it's fun. Good. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So you haven't been on my show yet, Jeremy. I think uh, I might have been. Were you here with the lowdown? With, yeah, yeah, last yeah. time I was here, yeah. It was with like, the lowdown. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun, yeah. but you guys were a bigger group at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, were, uh, we were doing a trio thing. So we had Anthony Daly on bass. Yep, and, I remember but, Anthony. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and we still jam with him all the time. But, uh, you know, for the, solo, for the solo duo, you know, we stripped it down a little yeah. bit. And uh, 
we've been really working on kind of our own thing right now, mm -hmm. and it's, it's really great to be, uh, to be showing to be showing it off to everybody. Jeremy, you're back there playing guitar mm -hmm. and drums at the same time. That's pretty talented. Yeah, the, it, it's, it took a little while to you know figure out how to do that. I'm not used to doing both at the same time. But, I don't uh, think it's, it's normal. Yeah, not, <laughs> not many people uh, during the uh, solo duo challenge. A lot of people were saying, you know, they've never seen that before. Right. So I thought that right. was pretty cool. Which is probably yeah. one of the small reasons. There yeah. were many, many reasons why you guys came in second. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we we won't get into what the Belkin brothers brought to the floor, but oh, they, yeah. they killed it. Yes, they, they killed it. They, they killed it. And. Um, my opinion is that you guys killed it too. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you know how I feel about your music. Now, you're young. What makes you bring the blues to to the guitar? How come you're not doing rap or popular bubblegum music? Well, f you know, for me at least, uh, it's it's really about you know creating new things. Mm -hmm. And I think that when you get into, you know, s s a lot of the more popular genres right now, like hip hop, uh, just like pop music in general, you know, whether it be electronic or any of that, you know, it's, there's a lot of people doing it. And I, t to me, it just feels like I can definitely, uh, you know, c create a different sound if I'm, if I'm stripping it back and, and taking it back to just kind of straight guitar, drums, bass, you know, and yeah. get that real, that real good small band sound. What made you decide to do the blues? Um, it was definitely, uh, I got into the blues through rock and roll. Uh -huh. uh, I really, I really love Jack White, like of the White Stripes and, you know, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin. And those guys were just, they were, they were basically playing the blues, but they had their own spin on it. So yeah. then I started listening to the blues and it absolutely opened up a, a whole new world for me, musically. Now you've been to, you didn't go to Memphis. But you've been to Memphis, right? He, he, yeah, I did he, go to Memphis. You went one with him? Last year, yeah. yeah last that year. Was first cool. Time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What do you guys think of the whole Memphis scene? What was it like for you that, to be down there? I mean, for me, like, it was incredible. Yeah, it's you're, music heaven, you know. Yeah, you're surrounded, is, yeah. You're surrounded by yeah. so many amazing musicians. Just mm -hmm. being on Beale Street, you know, like, you're, gonna, you're meeting someone new every day who's uh -huh. uh, a potentially important connection. So um, there is a lot of lot of great people there, and it's just a great city. Now, did, does it feel like you're young compared to the other musicians that you were running into? Um, I, yeah, we were on the younger side. However, um, as part of the youth showcase, you know, the the youth thing in Memphis, um, I see I've met a lot of kids our age that mm -hmm. are that are kind of doing the same thing we're doing from from everywhere in the country. Yep. Um, well, from around the world, yeah, right there yeah, in Memphis. Yeah, from around the world. So. Um, that you know, that's amazing. Getting able to collaborate and work with and, and form friendships with other kids that are playing music and that are just as into it as we are. Yeah. You know, that that's a huge part of Any going any down to plans Memphis. on going to visit some of these kids that you met from other places? I was actually I uh, th 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 this past summer I was in I was in Tennessee at Bonnaroo with uh, one of my great friends, Jesse Black, who's yeah. a guitar player, singer. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, these are real friendships. I'm spending a lot of time with these people. Nice. So now good. you also did some touring out of this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was in Norway a little bit. How was that? A very, very. Incredible you were experience. invited to come yeah. to Norway to the blues festival. Yeah, there. yeah. That no, that was um, that was something else. I mean, I saw, I, I met. Th that's the thing about music is it just brings people together. It doesn't matter yep. what language you speak, what country right. you're from. You know, when when I was there at No Toad and it was just like. A big musical family so I mean right. everyone looked out for each other and just great people and so doors are opening for you all over the world yes, absolutely, absolutely because of mm -hmm. because of what you do now the blues are something that in my opinion check me if I'm wrong you have to have some life experience to play the blues yeah how are you singing love songs at your age <laughs> Tell me about this because if your dad is listening, he's gonna be checking what you say. So, oh no, it's, careful. Um, I, the thing about the thing about the blues is, I mean, the, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter, you know, where you come from in life. Um, everyone has experiences. Everyone has life changing experiences, uh, and everyone, you know, feel has that feeling of sadness that the blues is ah. all about. And everyone has that feeling of, you know, of happiness and joy that the blues is also all about. Right. So to me, you know, that kind of transcends age. 
um, you know, I mean, just as much that there might be there might be older people. I mean, I know that there are older people who have probably gone through some some things that I haven't yet, and you know, I recognize that. But you know, everyone has something to sing about. Everyone who picks up a guitar or who starts singing has some experience in their life that mm -hmm. they find important enough to share. So, so that's kind of how I think about it, especially when I'm writing and creating music. You know. Now, when you're when you're writing a new song, do you bring Jeremy into that writing? Does he help you with with any of that? Usually, so yeah. So usually, what'll happen is like you know, I'll have lyrics and I'll kind of have a basic idea of what's gonna happen, and then we'll get mm -hmm. to a rehearsal, yeah. and uh, and we'll just start working on it. And I mean, it changes a lot. Like the, the first product that I have. Uh -huh. So when we bring it in and start really working on it, I mean, it changes like 100%. So Jeremy yeah. definitely adds mm -hmm. adds a lot. Of course, to, uh, playing it live stuff. over time, uh, songs evolve. Absolutely, yeah. that's, a, that's a really good mm -hmm. point. Now, Jeremy, do you do any writing? I do, a you lot do. of writing, yeah. On, my, uh, on guitar, mostly. I do, uh, sometimes I start on the drum. You know, really? Sort of like have a groove laid out, and then I just sort of map it out from there. I do wow. a lot of recording as well. That's kind of how I build songs. That way. Wow. A lot of people don't start their writing mm -hmm. from the perspective of, of the drum set. Yeah, yeah. It's, That's it's kind, a of, kind of a cool uh, sort of reversed you know, approach to songwriting. It is. Yeah. That brings something different and more, um, what's the word I want? More vivacious yeah. to, to, mm -hmm. the, to the whole scene. Yeah. So you guys seem to work really well together. Do you see that continuing on for a while? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, we're uh, we're we're just getting better and better. Like we're we're mm -hmm. continuing the progress. Uh, we're getting tighter as a duo, and um, yeah, we're just working on writing and cranking out as much music as we can right now. How many hours a day do you by yourself practice, Jeremy? On a normal day, probably around four or five. Four or five four hours, hours a day. Yeah. yeah. How are you getting schoolwork done while you're doing that? It's it's hard to balance it. I don't have much time to sleep. That's for sure. I stay up, re <laughs> I stay up really late. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? You don't just you don't just play music either. You're involved with other things in school. How do you get it all done? Yeah, um, it's 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 tough, definitely. You know, being a, being any musician and and, and going through school, mm -hmm. it's two worlds. It's two completely separate worlds. They do not really complement each other. You know, I mean. Playing music is hard because there'll be nights, like weeknights, where you have a gig yep. and you have classes at 8 in the morning. But um, I'm really lucky. My, my school kind of knows the situation I'm in. They know that you're they famous. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. And they, they, uh, they, they help me out, you know, like rescheduling work and stuff. So um, it's definitely tough, but it's also something that, you know, I love doing. Both, both are, like, really important. Well, it's nice that your school is behind you and all that. Yeah, now, yeah. are you still swimming? Not swimming, just running, just running. Running. I'm I'm the runner now. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm t it's running and then having to play play a gig afterwards is not a fun time. But <laughs> but no, it's good. Wow. It's busy. Yeah, it's busy. Wow. And have you fit a girlfriend into that yet? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. my, oh yes. my, yeah. It's starting. You've got a girlfriend now. It's starting. But, um, yeah. yeah, there was a whole bunch of girls at the uh, at the blues challenge. I was wondering how many of them were um, in competition for your <laughs> for your attention. Oh, well, I'm probably all of them, <laughs> and yours too, huh? Yeah, no, Jeremy. Jeremy is the woman I have the group. Yeah. Don't look at me. There you go. Drummer. Everyone loves drummers, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. it's something <laughs> about it's something about that rhythm. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't know. I've always been into. Well, I guess bass guitar is the same thing. It's the, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. rhythm yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where do you see yourself going? Are you going to compete in the next um, blues competition? I'm thinking, yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, definitely. If in the band right. competition or in or in the solo duo? Well, that's uh, that's to be decided. Um, okay. We, you know, it, there's there's a lot. I don't want to commit to anything yet because there's a lot of things that can change, um, but. You know, whatever whatever it is, we're going to be back. We're going to be coming back, and we're going to be doing something. Good. So good. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so you see yourself, the two of you, in five years, still doing the same thing. Do either one of you have college plans yet? I'm uh, I'm starting to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to look. So it really, I mean, looking that far down the road is tough because at my age, there's so many different things that could change. I don't know where I'm going to school yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to go to college. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's 
there, there's so many things that can change. And there's so many factors you know, to take. So um, I guess we're just gonna see. We're we're playing it by year, but hopefully for for the next couple of years we'll be uh, we'll be going strong. Now, does does the school ever ask you to uh, do any gigs for the school? Most of the stuff um, music related that I that I do with my school is uh, there's a separate. I have a separate like you know jazz combo. Oh, uh, nice. My school. So I mean, th when I when I'm in school, I'm playing a lot more jazz uh, than I am blues and rock. Which nice. is that's again that's also very fun because it's a whole it's. That's a whole new yeah. genre. Yep, yep. So yeah. you're you're pretty well rounded. Yeah, well, I mean, me, you know, me and Jeremy, we've had a, we've had experiences in a lot of different genres. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I know. You play in the jazz combo too. Yeah, I did jazz combo in high school, and then I actually have a year of uh, jazz studies at University of Hartford under my nice. belt as well. Nice. And I mean, nice. a lot of the stuff mm -hmm. he releases is like very. It's you very know, hard sort rock. of yeah. It's sort of hard rock. I do like to incorporate a lot of jazz elements as well, sort of like. Um, tonality wise I guess now if you're if you're mm -hmm. at school and you're in high school how do you guys find time to practice weekends mostly yeah we um, yeah. We're, we're pretty close together like I'm Glastonbury he's mm -hmm. Manchester so we're a town away yeah uh, so usually I mean just Saturday morning we can we'll throw in a quick two-hour uh, session but yeah it's you know it's scheduling times to practice can be tough and again like both in school so it's uh, yeah it's a challenge, but we're making it work. And you intend to keep making it work. Absolutely. Awesome. When you, um, when you get a song that has pulled itself to get out of you, um, what is it that makes that happen? What is it that makes a song come together for you? You know, for me, uh, it's really kind of about the inspiration. Like okay, what inspires you to write music? It's it's definitely just it's I mean I hate to sound cheesy but it's it's really life experiences it's really going through it's you know every everyone everyone has an outlet everyone has an outlet where you know they they're experiencing things every day and they're finding some way to channel that whether it be positive energy or negative energy music is like the same thing uh, you yes. know I mean when mm -hmm. it doesn't matter like like the blues is a perfect example there's there's songs that are all about heartache. Or being sad or lonely, but there's also songs that are about celebrating life. Right. So that's that's the most powerful thing for me. Okay. So usually I ask these questions um, of my older um, guests, but I, so I'm kind of switch this 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 up a little bit. You're left with ten of your peers. It's just you and ten of your friends. That's all that's left. The country has imploded. The world yeah. has kind of imploded, and there's nothing left. How are you going to leave a legacy, number one, of music, and number two, that will carry on in a way that will um, put life forward? I just really want, you know, I, my method of doing that is I want to affect people with the music I'm playing. You know, mm -hmm. you want you want to leave a lasting impression on someone. I mean, even if it's just, you know, someone was having a someone was feeling down and you're at a you're at a club playing and I mean, it if you can just make people happy, if you can lift people's spirits, mm -hmm. that, you know, that's what really uh, that's what really defines you. How are you going to teach that to 10 other kids? It, it's it's honestly, it's it's something that's pretty hard to teach because it, you know, at some level, you know, you can show someone how to perform. You can show someone how to play an instrument, uh, but but being really being able to connect with your audience and really being able to leave a lasting impression is a skill that that you know the artist the, himself or herself has to figure out. You know, because yes. I mean, I can't you know I can't tell anyone how they're going to to, to connect with others. It's right. it's a unique. It has experience. to be uh, natural. Yeah, 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 it has to be organic. The best songs, you know, come out naturally. Can't can't Absolutely. force it. Is that Definitely. what you're going to do with the other 10 kids? Oh, yeah. That's what I tell them. Yeah. Don't force anything. Yeah. Just let when things happen. We just recently, in the last few weeks, had um, probably the biggest election that ever happened in the world. Um, do you guys see our country going forward from here in a positive way? Um, that, you know, that's, I hope for the best. I, 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 I always hope for the best. Um, you know, right now that, that this election's uh, shaking things up a little bit, so all I'm all I can say is I, I hope things, you know, just keep going well. They will. I hope. They will. If you yeah. guys keep making great music like you're doing, 
and keep doing what you're doing. We're going to go forward all the way. Will you guys please take us out with a song? Right, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you absolutely. so much. Thank so you. So while um, they're getting ready to while they're getting ready to take us out, I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning into Grandma's Attic Music Review. Until next week, remember, take care of your neighbors, shop local, go to the galleries downtown. They all have wonderful artwork for you to check out, and you can also invest in a neighbor's future by checking out their artwork. Stay close to home, check out your neighbors, stay warm, and until next week, bye-bye and God bless. There's a nickel and a dime is a dime I need a new man, Lord, now won't you mind Tell me how long do I have to wait Can I get you now or must I hesitate How long, what else I gotta say Tell me how long do I have to wait Can I get you now or must I hesitate How long The river was a whiskey and I was a duck Swim to the bottom and never come up Tell me how long do I have to wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? How long? What else I gotta say? Tell me how long do I have to wait? Can I get you now or must I hesitate? How long? There's a fish in the ocean, there's a rock in the sea Can I tell you, girl, you mean the world to me Tell me how long do I have to wait Can I get you now on my side, is it take how long What else I gotta say Tell me how long do I have to wait Can I get you now on my side, is it take how long